This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com, offering all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike Hypervenom Phantom in the brand new Reflective Pack colorway. Now inside the box, as with all top end models from Nike, a string bag is included. This particular string bag is white in color on the front. The strings as well as the back of the bag are both yellow. You can see there is a snake skull logo in black on the back. And then on the front, you're gonna find a snake skin print Nike swoosh in volt yellow and black as well. So we'll get that out of the way, get the shoes out of the box really quickly. And if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the reflective pack colorway for the very popular Hyper Venom Phantom. Uh, as you can see, as with the other uh, reflective pack colorways, this features a similar color scheme with a different accent color. You're gonna find an all white Nike skin base. And for those of you that aren't huge fans of the kind of two tone color blocking design of the Hyper Venom Phantom, where you normally have your one color for the main part portion of the upper, then an accent color acting as a border, you don't have that on this colorway because like I said, the upper is pretty much completely white. You're gonna find your black accents and the Nike swoosh at the heel, your Hyper Venom branding right there, your main black Nike swoosh here at the front, as well as your Nike skin branding right here on the instep. As I mentioned earlier, the main accent color for this particular model is Volt Yellow, which you'll find in the insole as well as in the heel liner, along with the entire outsole and stud pattern, as you guys can see. And then, of course, you're going to have your reflective elements to the shoe, hence be this being called the Reflective Pack colorway. You're going to have your reflective dots in the white laces, as you will with all of the Reflective Pack models. And then moving on to the back portion of the shoe, that's where you're going to find your main reflective pattern, which on the Hyper Venom Phantom is kind of a snakeskin design, as you guys can see, with little splits in the design to make these kind of arrow shapes which looks really really cool it's kind of difficult to see when it isn't actually reflecting which is right now give me one second just to turn off some lights here and you guys will get a much better idea as to how reflective this material actually is and how cool it looks if it is a little bit dark so um, as I mentioned in past reflective pack videos which if you guys miss those I'll leave some annotations on screen um, it doesn't necessarily have to be pitch black dark for the reflective pattern to actually work um, basically all this material needs is a little bit of darkness and a little bit of light essentially what it does is it just reflects the light making it look as if the shoe has its own light source it's a very very cool effect and in, in like stadium lighting situations where it's just a little bit dark and you're gonna have some form of a light source it's definitely Definitely going to reflect very very well you can see that this pattern looks really cool I like that they do have that kind of arrow design to go along with the snakeskin pattern itself it's very very subtle but at the same time very unique um, but that's pretty much it as far as the uh, reflective pattern itself and the overall colorway and I move on next to the technical specifications of the boot the Hyper Venom Phantom is undeniably one of the most unique soccer cleats currently out there on the market. So we're going to do a quick overview of all the tech specs for this particular shoe. As always though, if you guys are looking for more information on the overall performance and feel of the Hyper Venom Phantom, be sure to refer to the full written review on my website linked down below in the description, as well as the review, playtest, and comparison videos that I've made including the Hyper Venom Phantom. I'll leave some annotations on screen to those if you are interested. Um, now as far as what the standout feature Feature is on this particular shoe it is definitely the Nike skin synthetic upper it's made up of several different layers the main base layer being a honeycomb woven mesh material as you guys can see which peeks through and gives um, the kind of unusual appearance to this particular upper on top of that mesh layer is several very thin layers of fused on polyurethane making up what is not necessarily a top layer for the uh, upper itself but more or less a membrane to cover up that soft mesh material giving this shoe an extremely soft and flexible feel even though it is very very thin um, if you've worn shoes like the Mercurial Vapor or even the F50 Addy Zero in synthetic, you know that thin synthetics can be a little bit more rigid than something like a natural leather. Uh, the Hyper Venom Phantom Nike Skin Synthetic kind of blends the both of, best of both worlds in that it's very, very thin, 
yet very soft and flexible like a leather material. Um, it's finished off with an x-ray texturing, so you can see that it is not completely smooth. This just adds a little bit of additional grip on the ball, which is something that may feel a little bit strange at first. Kind of has a slightly waxy finish about it, but once you get used to it, it definitely is something that I really liked about this particular shoe. And then of course the upper is finished off with ACC All Conditions Control technology, acting as a wet control element for the boot itself. You're going to find an off-centered lacing system, as you guys can see, with the laces being pushed slightly to the outside of the boot. It does feature a lower cut in the heel area, similar to the Mercurial Vapor, um, so it does have kind of a more low cut feel about it, um, giving you plenty of freedom of movement in the ankle area of the boot. Um, the heel liner is a synthetic leather material with a decent amount of padding, considering the lightweight construction of the shoe itself. The insole is fully removable. This particular insole is volt in color with that snake skull logo right there at the heel, perforations all throughout, a mesh layer on top, and then it's just one single layer of foam. Provides some decent padding. I did find some issues with it kind of slipping around on me, but if you just want to put a little bit of glue right there, or even just swap out the insole for something completely different, that issue resolves itself pretty easily. Now moving on to the sole plate and outsole of the Hypervenom Phantom, it is a two-part design similar to uh, the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9. The base layer or the sole plate part of this particular outsole is made from a glass nylon material. It's basically a very responsive type of plastic um, in that it's a little bit more stiff and rigid through the forefoot, especially at first. But once the shoe is uh, kind of broken in after a couple hours of wear time, it softens up, becomes a lot more flexible, but still maintains that nice rigidity through the midfoot when striking the ball, which is really, really important. Something that um, avoids the shoe having any kind of a flimsy feeling. You're also going to find some stiffener bars going through the midfoot as well to help stabilize that area of the sole plate. Now the stud pattern is unique to the Hypervenom line. You're going to find four conical studs that are fairly narrow in profile at the back of the shoe and then six conical studs on either side of the forefoot in the front, one bladed support stud in the middle and then one little mercurial-esque toe pick bladed studs right here at the tip of the toe. All the studs are, like I said, very narrow in profile, so they penetrate the ground very, very easily. This is an ideal stud pattern for firm natural grass plane surfaces, and really does perform well in terms of providing outright grip when pushing off, as well as maintaining t uh, kind of that freedom to twist and turn and maneuver once your foot is planted into the ground because the studs are conical. The one last feature that everybody likes to mention, but I find is not a super noticeable feature in terms of feel and performance, is the split toe design in the outsole itself. Supposedly there is a little bit of a split in the outsole right here. Um, it's supposed to allow for more natural movement and better stability overall. But to be completely honest with you guys, you don't feel any kind of noticeable difference whether or not the sole plate is split or just completely solid. So ignore it as a feature altogether and more or less, it's just a visual aid that doesn't really do much, like I said, when it comes to overall performance. But that's pretty much it as far as all the tech specs go. And move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. The Hypervenom Phantom features a lightweight construction and low profile design that is arguably very similar to the Nike Mercurial Vapor series. Um, again, a very lightweight shoe, so it shouldn't be much of a surprise that the Hypervenom Phantom is also fairly light. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. We're going to throw it on the scale and you can see that these guys weigh in at 7.3 ounces. So about half an ounce more than the Mercurial Vapor 9 for comparison's sake. Not a significant amount of weight. And if you're looking for that lightweight feel both in hand as well as on feet, the Hypervenom Phantom is definitely going to do that for you. Not to mention that it is arguably one of the most comfortable shoes in this particular weight range. So that's pretty much it for the weigh-in portion of this video. And move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the Hypervenom Phantoms on feet. You can see I have the lighting set up so you guys can see that reflective pattern in action just one more time. Very, very cool looking. Nonetheless though, the Hypervenom Phantom is an incredible fitting shoe. It's very, very comfortable considering the lightweight construction. And there really isn't a, another upper on the market that feels like Nike skin. It has a nice tight fit, but at the same time, it's not restrictive. It's extremely flexible. And really the best way to describe it is sock-like in terms of how comfortable it is. Um, it's very soft, requires little to no break in time. And if you do need it to widen up a little bit, it does have that ability to stretch. So again, if it feels a little bit tight from right out of the box, 
don't worry, it will give after a few hours of wear time. In terms of width, it does have a slightly tighter profile about it, especially through the midfoot and toe box area, whereas the forefoot is a little bit wider. But again, don't be too concerned if they do feel a little bit too tight because they will stretch. Um, just as long as you don't have excessively wide feet, shouldn't have any issues fitting into the Hypervenom Phantom. While it does have a similar profile to the Mercurial Vapor 9, it is significantly wider once you actually put it on your feet. In terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. Well, that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion of this video goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Reflective Pack Hypervenom Phantom. This is a fantastic shoe overall in a very unique colorway. Nike Skin is one of those synthetic materials that is truly revolutionary and really something that I think everybody should try at some point in time just to see what you're missing out on because Nike Skin really is that good. Now, in terms of the overall performance, if you guys are interested in more information, as mentioned earlier, be sure to refer to the full written review linked down below in the description of this video. Also on that review page, you'll find high quality images to give you a better idea as to how these actually do look in person, along with buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes. If you guys are interested in purchasing these at a slightly discounted price, be sure to check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed today's video be sure to support it with a like subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear you can find all of my social media information down below in the description and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching